Hey, here was a nice OBD2 multifunction diagnostic tool from Nexpal. Uh, just going to briefly do an overview of the device uh, before we go and use it in the car because in order to power it up we have to plug it into the car and that's where I can really show you the features. So this is just going to be kind of a quick unboxing. I'll combine it with that video. Uh, you can see it's multifunction. It's for all 96 and newer OBD2 compliant vehicles. So make sure it works with your vehicle. It can support up to seven language. English is probably the most important one for uh, most of you looking at this video. But of course, you've got Spanish as well. One click query fault codes, one click query battery voltage and then diagnose and clear engine fault codes, of course, is what it's telling us. So pretty straightforward OBD2 diagnostic tool. Okay, so why don't we look at it? We can see right here is the unit. Obviously, here's where it plugs in. Just to kind of go over the buttons briefly, you know, your diagnostic code button is right here. You've got your return button is, you know, like your, your enter your exit, obviously your arrows are for navigating through those menus. Exit gets you out of the submenus, back to the main menu, and enter is the same as like a, a return function. So easy to use, pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug it in a car. We'll just kind of play with it a little bit. I don't think I have any error codes I can show from any of my vehicles right now, but at least we'll plug it in and we'll go through the menus and you'll see how it works. Again, this is from Nextpow. And this is the V311 OBD2 diagnostic tool. All right, you can see that I have the NextPow um, diagnostic tool connected here. This is the OBD2 plus battery. It's model V311 or V311. And you can see what happens when you plug it in. So I just plugged it into my OBD port, which is right down there. All right. And now I gotta wait a second for it to come into focus again. There we go. So you can see here are the different um, options on the menu. Now, if I just go ahead and hit that first one, system status. So it's telling me, uh, let's see if I can read some codes. Reading codes, no codes are stored. Okay. If I go ahead, exit out of there, And then hit the battery button. Should be able to see that. Tells us our battery voltage. Okay, exit out of there. All right, so that's where you can look up your codes, right, are there. So that was under this right here. Okay, and then if I go over to settings, that's just going to let you go ahead and change through your different settings. Okay, so you've got settings, you've got your code lookup, you've got your actual scanning. All right, and then you've got the battery function. Okay, so pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Sorry, it's going to come out of focus here, but to show you the buttons. You're just going to use the arrows, the enter and exit. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward, pretty common sense that you're going to be able to figure out how to use this. And there's a very detailed manual with it in case you need it. So again, this is the NextPow V311.